Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new Nerd Miner, the big boy, the one mega hash version. So, previously in the past, if you've seen some of the other Nerd Miners, like the USB Nerd Miner, look how look how massive this new one is. She's a big boy. Still runs off of a USB. This is a Type C cable. Uh, this is one of the other models that doesn't have a screen, but this one does significantly more hash rate than any of these other models. I think uh, the USB model with the latest firmware does around 350 kilo hash. This one does over a thousand kilo hash, a mega hash. Sorry about that, got a phone call. Now with this being said, I'm gonna show you guys how to start up and run one of these fresh out of the box. So as soon as you get it and you put the case on it, or if you buy it without the case, by the way, link below down in the description to buy one of these from my web store. Um, all you gotta do is plug in the USB, the type C uh, cable into the side of it, and then it'll show up with the screen right here. So it's got a QR code to connect to the Wi-Fi on this actual module, you're connecting to it, or you can go and look and it says NMAP 2.4G, it also have the SSID for the Wi-Fi this is emitting, and then also the password, password 12345678. So I'm gonna connect to this now, let me flip the screen around and I'll walk you through it, it's really easy. All right guys, so it is up right here and let's go ahead and connect to it. After you connect to it, if it doesn't automatically bring this page up, you can connect to that IP address right there, 192. .168.4.1 in your uh, internet browser, and then click on configure Wi-Fi. Then it'll bring up this page right here when it loads. There we go. So it'll show available Wi-Fi networks in your area. So you just click on the one you wanna use, and then you put the password in for it. Hold on one second, let me get that password in. All right, now as you scroll down, I put my uh, password in for my Wi-Fi. It's gonna ask you for the pool URL primary. So we are gonna be using the Jellyfish Community Pool for our solo mining. If you don't know what solo versus pool mining is, solo mining means this device is gonna try to solve a Bitcoin block by itself. Uh, if it does, it hits a full block reward, which currently is worth over three Bitcoin, which is 300,000 plus dollars. Uh, but it has a very low chance of hitting that. Uh, just off the top of my head, these devices are, you know, rated in thousands of years that they would estimate hitting a Bitcoin block. So you can connect this to a pool, but it's going to make maybe a penny a week. So uh, I'd rather have a chance to hit that Bitcoin block. That's why typically a lot of people call these lottery miners, because if it hits a Bitcoin block, it's like hitting the lottery off a device that burns basically almost a negligible amount of electricity so now with that being said we're going to go over here our pool is nerd miner friendly so we do have a starting difficulty on this stratum of 5001 on the port for one so that's where nerd miners will connect to so it's stratum plus tcp uh colon slash slash btc.jellyfc.com and then 5001 for the port so we'll go ahead and type that in BTC dot J E L L Y F C dot com five thousand and one. There we go. Pool password, you can just leave it as X. And then now I need my Bitcoin address right here. So let me go ahead and backspace this. This is the address that you want your Bitcoin paid out to if you actually manage to hit a Bitcoin block. All right guys, so after you get your Bitcoin address in, you can have a fallback address uh, or a fallback, a fallback pool URL. It's set at TAS Mining. I'm just gonna leave it there for now. As long as you don't have an issue with uh, connecting to the Jellyfish pool, which we have had some uh, outages in the past, but I think we're really caught up and ready to go now. Um, but just make sure your fallback, fallback BTC address is the same. So then it'll fall back and mine on that pool on TAS Mining if we have an issue. Uh, UI refresh interval, that's the actual UI that's on the screen. I just leave that at two seconds. And then zero makes it to where the screen never goes to sleep. Um, initial screen brightness, 100. Device code, I'm leaving that alone. And the license, leave that alone. Um, let's see here. Uh, we do not want to save. LED enable, rotate screen. BTC price update from market. 
Okay, now let's hit save. Saving credentials. All right, now it is connecting to my Wi-Fi and we're gonna let this bad boy spool up. Uh, it looks like there's a new firmware, 1.7.06. We're on 1.7.03, so we'll definitely check that out. Let's see, right off the bat, 977, 996. Look at that, one mega hash, 1,000 kilohash. Total hash rate right now, 1.0 mega hash. It's crazy to think a little USB, which I haven't done an amp draw on this, but a friend of mine over in the Discord, Dragon, did, and he said it's pulling right at 0.2 to 0.3 amps at five volts. So you're looking at, what is that? Five times 0.2, one to two watts. Um, basically, you wouldn't even be able to tell if you were running one of these on your electric bill at the end of the month. So she's holding over one mega hash. I'm gonna go and see what the new update is and see if that helps out on hash rate. Um, I'll be right, right back. Guys, so I'm on the latest 1.7.06 uh, firmware and it's been doing still just about one mega hash. Every now and then it'll jump up to 1.1 mega hash. So it looks like this firmware didn't do a whole lot for the hash rate, but um, it's, it's now holding 1.0 fairly solid. So I'm gonna let this run for a little while and then show some stats over on the mining pool side. All right guys, so this is interesting. Before I had let it run on the 1.7.03 for like about 18 hours, almost the first day. Um, and then I upgraded it to the new 1.704. And look at that. So at last 24 hours, 955 kilohash, last six hours, 1.01 mega hash so i'm gonna let this run for a little while and see if it will actually hold that average but we seem to have been let's see here where is it at um shear rate 0 0.053 per second it seems like it's holding that one mega hash pretty pretty solid so um it's crazy how far the the nerd miners have come so if you guys are interested i do have a link down below and um, i do have an option where you can get it with a new case that's actually being designed and uh, gonna be 3D printed by one of our Discord members. Shout out Dragons 3D Dragons Nest 3D Printing, um, or you can buy it bare with no case. That way you can get in there and get mine in as cheap as possible. So anyway, anyways, with that being said, um, I will wish y'all a good evening, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.